Okay, so like, I'm back again, man. In the server voice, yeah. Yes. Okay, um, today I'm going to talk about art and what got me in the art. And I'm sorry about the dog barking. This is that kind of weirdo. Um, talk about art what i think about art and how i got started like my art journey more or less you know like i got started in art through my through my dad and my mom and they like taught me how to draw crafts and i'm back again because i had to put the dog away the dog you know, he's always like barking and stuff. And then he jumped on my parents' bed. And, you know, fleas and stuff. Yeah. Now I was talking about my art journey and what I think about art, you know. My parents, you know, started the thing always while we were in restaurants and stuff. But she, my mom would take out a little notebook. <coughs> and she'll tell me, to draw, you know, whatever, crabs and churches, you know, a lot of churches. Yeah, it's weird because today I, I hate drawing buildings, so that's funny actually. But, you know, drawing. You know, in South Africa, my country, art isn't a safe, a safe career. Like, most people see artists as these people that don't have a lot of money, they struggle, they can't afford basically anything. And, you know, I, I love to make art like a career, but I don't think I'll make any money out of it. I mean, I, I'm just being real here. I love drawing, I love painting. But loving something doesn't mean you're going to love it forever. And you're going to make a living. You know, I don't want to live in the street. I want to be able to buy Windsor and Newton pens and markers and, and acrylics without worrying. You know, at the moment I, I worry about a lot of stuff, you know that. So, you know... In the next couple of years, I'm going to going to study medicine because I want to be able to afford all the painting supplies and things I want. So I'm putting art to the side just for the sake of that. I, I, I worry about people too, you know. It's not like I hate medicine or anything. It's like it's, an, it's on an equal level. Do I want to have money or do I want to do what I love? It, it's, it's a struggle, man. I, I heard Holly Brown talk about the struggle of artists and the problems they face. And I was like, yeah, I know about this. My parents tell me this kind of stuff often and it's a struggle. I, I have this art teacher, you know, he's amazing. He used to be a professor at this university in Pretoria. And he used to be an art professor. And he, then he just re went into retirement. And he paints and his paintings like sell for a lot. But they're like traditional oil paintings or acrylic paintings. And you can, and, and you know, he knows his stuff. He knows colors, he knows theory, he knows lines, he knows everything. Perfect. He's, he's awesome. But, you know, he's, he's, he's also not, he's not doing as well as he wish, he'd wish, you know, like I, I have an aunt and she is a doctor. And she can afford, like, having a beach house, you, you know? 
And you know, that's the question you gotta ask yourself. Like my, the, my art teacher, he can't afford that. He has to live in a small house and ha has to teach classes. And he, for a long while, before he, he became like, you know, real known and stuff, he had to give classes to people he hated, to little kids. You know, not saying little kids are terrible or anything, you know, they're, they're okay. <laughs> Just saying that he, they used to, like, he has, used to be this kid he hated that used to kick out, like, some of the paintings, and he hated that kid. He could stop giving classes when he made enough money, but, you know, that's the thing you're gonna face, you're gonna hate it. And I don't, I don't know how I would ever give classes to kids that I hate because I've got a short temper and I've, I don't know, it's just I earned it, I, I got the genes from my mom and then I get so angry, I just see white and I, I yell, I yell so loud. It shakes the roof. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, you know, you got to think about stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm not saying it's all bad. You got, you've got to have a res the resolve of a rock. Because what if you want to become famous or have enough money to sustain yourself and your family one day? Then you're gonna have to have resolve of steel and climb a mountain that's the size of Everest. Because getting anywhere in the world is basically climbing over, over a mountain. Because, you know, getting studying medicine isn't a joke, you know? It's not a joke. In South Africa, it takes seven years to become a doctor. Seven years of studying at a university that costs millions of rands. That's like... 100,000, like, more than $100,000, you know, and that's going to mean that I'm going to have to take loans or I'm going to have to get a scholarship. Life is hard, but if you choose art as your way of life and you feel like you have the strength inside of you and the love and the resolve, then by Every mean go for it, but just know you're going to be very tired. Just look at Holly, Holly Brown. You, if you don't know her, she's an artist as well. She's, I always see her being totally like exhausted all the time. Maybe it's just because she drinks too much Coke. I have no idea. And too much coffee, you know. But, you know, I think that's life. And not a lot of... People or kids know that, you know, they're like, yes, let's go to art school, yes. And then <laughs> they, learn, they don't know stuff like this. Like big people worries and problems that normal people face. Like why is the world like this? Everything is just a struggle. You know, and you're, if you're an artist, getting health care is terrible you know not if you live in europe because i know most european countries you, you get like health care and it's awesome and stuff like that but yeah but if you feel like you can do it let nothing stand in your way if your parents tell you you know you're not good enough you're never gonna make it art is like a dying trend just tell them you're going to, um, like, you're going to study designing labor, labels or stuff like that, like, or do something like interior design if you're into that. Say you're going to do that and then just enroll in some extra art classes. That, that's what I'm going to actually do when I get into med school. Because the med school, like, the, the first year or where I want to study, maybe somewhere in Bloemfontein or that, it's like the studying place is right next, it's like one big campus and they offer like, you know, you can take a, 
a, a seminar or whatever of art, and then you don't have to worry. You know, I'm going to find my way around it. But yeah, I'm just not trying to be negative. I'm just saying how I feel and what I think. Yeah, that's all that I have to say. Thanks for listening and watching me scribble away. And I'll see you whenever. Bye.